Well, I'm in the Southern Riverina, standing beside a fire and it's absolutely freezing here. And in the distance, you'll see the storm clouds. Much needed rain has fallen in this area. It was dry and de desolate drought hit this area. The biggest problem they have here, and I had a meeting with the community, farmers and others at Daniloquin just a few hours ago, is water. They are furious over politicians not coming to an agreement and how best to deal with the Murray River Darling Basin plan. So questions need to be asked. Why did John Howard separate water from land in 2004? Why was the Water Act set up in 2007? Allowing people who have no interest in the land are actually trading water, buying it up and trading it. These are questions that need to be asked because what's happening is that the farming sector and communities are not getting the water they need to actually continue their farming. A lot of farmers are stressed by this. They don't know what to do. I'm in fear for their mental health and I'm fear that possibly they may even throw the towel in. They are struggling. I spoke to a dairy farmer today and he said, we just don't know where we're headed, what's going to happen. It cost them $1.2 million to grow the fodder to provide feed for six months. 1.2 million. Their allocation is right down. And there's another thing is the Mindy Lakes. You've heard about that, the dead fish. The, probably the perception is they've taken too much water out of the Mindy Lakes, out of the river system. Well, it's not the case. You see, it was only because of the bad management from the Murray Darling River Basin Authority they released the water out of it and hence the dead fish. This has become so political that the people are fed up. I challenge the other political parties, everyone in the floor of parliament, to start working together to find an answer to this. Maybe the answer is in having a Royal Commission to investigate what I've just mentioned, separation of land for water, selling off our water, foreign ownership, people having owning trading water that shouldn't be trading in it. There's a lot of questions need to be asked. They want the answers and if we don't give it to them soon, we're going to lose a lot of our farming sector and will our land end up in the hands of foreign ownership?